Previously on Redbeard's Garage, we got the awesome opportunity to build a Harley Davidson cross cart for Quantum Machinery Group to take to SEMA this year in Las Vegas. SEMA's in about four weeks, so that means we have three weeks start to finish to get as much done as possible on this 883 chassis. Today's episode, we're going to get as much as we can done on the chassis as well as doing the trailing arms on the rear of this 883 chassis. So let's get started. So I'm ready to build the trailing arms on the back of this uh, buggy 
So we have these Miata CV axles, we have the Miata wheel hubs, and we have taken a piece of DOM tubing, machined out the inside, so the Miata bearing, factory Miata wheel bearing slides right in, and then we have our retaining clip that goes in, we have our lip for it. So this is what we'll be using on every single buggy from now on is these Miata parts. We've had these sitting on the shelf for over a year now. And now we have three pairs sitting on the shelf because the next three buggies you'll see we use all this. So what we have to do now is make some points on this bearing setup to go to the trailing arm as well as our guide arms that's on the back. It's just like a razor. It's gonna have the main trailing arm that goes to a three quarter inch hind joint uh, with some five eighths uh, high misalignment spacers. And then we're gonna have one inch, uh, or sorry, half inch hind joints back here as the guide arms. It'll be super strong. So took a while today and I cut these out on with the plasma cutter and then cleaned them up. So this will go on the back side of the bearing setup. Ooh, nice fit. And I'm gonna space these up. I'm using these little three hole gussets to space them up to leave a lip. And I'm gonna weld this and I have another solid one without the holes in. So what this will do is here's a finished one. Uh, these only have holes in them because this was a wasted piece and I reused it. So basically this is the outside of the bearing. There's where the C-clip is. On the outside, this will set just like this. So we'll have three one and a quarter tubes coming off of this and going up to our mount. This will make it super strong. And I haven't made the, the guide arms yet, but I'll show you me making this thing looks super clean. Really like it. It's really nice, Clark. And we finally got the prime well uh, water cooler. I haven't wired it up. I'm gonna, this uh, particular TIG came out before they started putting the plug on the rear of them for the water cooler. So I have to manually turn it on every time. I'm gonna pull this thing apart and I'm gonna put an outlet in the back of it and have it hardwired. So when you flip it on, the water cooler kicks on, you won't ever forget it. Uh, but I'm using a foot pedal. We got her set on 168. Got that 25 foot CK whirl. Why? 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 Got a few diver dudes there, baby. So She's all welded out real nice, just on this side. I'm gonna weld this side last. Uh, so now I can take, sleeve that puppy on there. So again, I'm using these spacers just to keep, so I have a nice gap to weld. Am I on one of these? Yeah, I am. Okay, so now this is how the trailing arms will do. They'll slide through weld here, as well as butt weld there. So this is the inside of the hub that I'm building. Good enough for government work. <laughs> See? Unreal. It's not like it's going to a big show or anything. Or like it's for like a customer, paying customer or anything. A few moments later. So we got that fully trigonometry welded and looks really nice, Clark. So our wheel bearing it's a good snug fit come on baby oh it's so it's so snug look at that and then we got these harbor freight snap ring pliers it's about to put our eyes out nah, that's what i'm scared of oh lord have mercy so there is our setup Wheel hub and Dave actually put this on the lathe and turned this down because it was a press fit normally and we didn't like that because if we ever want to take it apart, it's gonna pull our bearing apart. Now that goes on there. Have our axle nut out here. We have a full Miata rear C V setup.
What an awful way to measure some. Oh, like 32. <laughs> mm. I didn't write anything down when I made this side. Normally I make one side, let you guys see me make the other side. Hey, um, piece of advice. If you write it down, you remember it. <clears throat> so I've got this set up. I haven't finished my tabs and stuff and the gussets that'll support these bulkheads, but ah, she looks good. She looks good. Uh, took some tinkering, some playing with, but we got her down pat and her wheel fits, clears everything. It looks sweet. I like this trailing arm. We still got to add some nice little gussets i'm not gusseting the whole thing because i think it'd be a little much but the shock mount will be right here and the shock mount will be right there using a 36 inch fox air shock and we actually won't use all the shocks travel but that's the best place to mount it so that's where I mount it. so we're going to copy this side and do it to the other side did you inspect all this already about what just show it so yeah i haven't finished the tabs back here because we're going to have to bend in and then bend over we had straight tabs without these um little spacers and i didn't like it these spacers allow it just gives it a little bit of wiggle room uh, so and this looks crazy and weak right now because it's just two stubs that dave machined up uh, but we're going to have this is not long enough but this is just to show you for instance there'll be a third one they'll be welded in here and bolted in there uh, and this bulkhead will bolt on and give it like a second shear point. And also I'm going to take and gusset it inside here. Uh, so this is all one big unit. It'll look pretty sweet. heavy to do so. Guys, we got the trailing arm set up completely done on this chassis and it looks awesome. That's my first set of trailing arms. And I'm telling you, it's super easy compared to A-arms. A-arms isn't that bad on the rear end, but uh, trailing arms is definitely a lot simpler. Now that we, we build a set, I can do uh, another set for another chassis way faster. So make sure to check out the links for these Heim joints. We've been using these ever since our first build and they've lasted. We've never had one blow out. Uh, QS Components makes a quality Heim joint. You can get uh, the economical ones which are a little cheaper or the chrome ollie ones and uh, we're using a lot of chrome ollie parts on this buggy i think it turned out awesome so far we've got a ton of adjustment in these trailing arms and it just looks freaking sick also we're using cbs off of miata 
and they're standard length, so that means if he ever breaks a CV, which I highly doubt it, he could swap it off with a off-the-shelf part and go down to the parts store and stuff. But links to all these parts are in the video description. Quantum Machinery Group is linked down there. We'll have their tables actually on our website soon. So uh, watch out in videos in the future for that because we are a dealer for these weld tables and they are amazing. Also the Centurial uh, tubing notching tools, they've been a huge help because I haven't had a second set of hands to help me hold tubing. And those tools have really made uh, life a lot easier with this chassis. So let's know what you think. Also, our shirts and stickers will be on sale uh, possibly when this video comes out. Uh, but you can save a little money on our shirts. We have a bunch of designs and we have our all of our stickers So pick you up some it helps the channel out a ton and continue seeing these awesome builds Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate everybody's comments even the bad ones and uh, we love you guys and God bless